Welcome to All Plan Quick Start Unit 8. Now that you've had an overview of All Plan's features and functions in the previous units, I'd like to show the engineers among you how to derive the shell drawing for the basement from the All Plan model. Start by switching to the Open on a Project Specific Basis dialog box, deselect the data from the previous unit, and collapse the structural levels. Then select Unit 8, expand all its structural levels, and select the data. All the model data has been loaded, so we're ready to begin. Press F4 to start the animation. The new window opens on the left-hand side of the workspace as usual. Everything looks just the way it did in the previous units. Now zoom in on a detail in the floor plan to better see the changes we are going to make to the representation. In all plan, you can use one consistent model in all your work, from architecture through to engineering. All you do is load the required display favourite, which is the general arrangement drawing in our case. See how the drawing now shows only components that are relevant to the shell drawing. In the animation window, you can load our surface favourite for engineering that will display the concrete components transparently and show other important components with a texture. Let's take a closer look at the result in the animation window. It's this easy to switch from the architecture model to the structure model in all plan. Now we want to create the sections for the shell drawing. To do this, open Unit 8, General Arrangement Drawing, in the Derived from Building Structure area of the Building Structure. Here we activate the reference drawing files. Now those drawing files are open in edit mode that you'll need for drawing the shell for the basement. Close the animation window and press F5 to display the entire layout content. When creating the sections, I'd like to give you a brief insight into all plans' powerful capabilities. To create a section, double-click on the view border of this section with the right mouse button. This activates the Create Section tool. Next, select the entire model you see displayed on the left and set the viewing direction from right. We'll select the clipping area in the overview because we also want to display the clipping line. With Escape, we create a rectangular clipping area using the entered diagonal points. Now enter a section identifier. The settings for the text parameters should look like this. Then enter the height of the section object so that the entire foundation plate and part of the ground floor are visible. Regarding the dimension lines, I have prepared a favourite named General Arrangement Drawing which we can load from the project folder. Now place the section. The section looks pretty good. We don't have to limit it by a second clipping area, so we can simply press Escape and confirm the proposed label, Section 33. We can copy the text parameters we want to use from an existing heading and then place the text. You can use the same method to create sections from any viewing direction. Choose the desired view and here you can use the same navigation mode as in the animation. Disable it for now, click free in the input options and select the drawing in the same way as before. Then switch back to the floor plan. As we have enabled the free input option, we don't have to enter a viewing direction.
so you can right away choose the clipping area in the overview. To finish entering the clipping area, press Escape. You can disable the Display of Clipping Path option here and place the section. Escape as no other clipping areas are needed. Of course, you can rename the proposed heading if you like, for example, to Isometric View. Press Enter to confirm. Then press Escape to quit the tool. Once placed, sections can be modified at any time. For example, you can disable the display of hidden lines and enable the options Consider Light and then Show Shadows. Finally, display the whole image again. Drawing a shell in all plan is that simple. In the next unit, I will show you how to create the reinforcement of the basement of the house.